I need news in the morning. Weather. And traffic. Miss an hour. Miss a lot. What's happening in our world is important. Waking you early and getting you ready for your day. It's a nice way to start my day. News in the morning. Start your day off right. Rob and Bernie on Acadiata's Morning News. Hey, 6.15 on this pre-Friday morning, and my, 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 the talk of the internet, Brandon, <laughs> yeah. is the Cox data cap, oh, all right? Yeah. The emails that I got all night long, okay, mm-hmm. so here's the deal, here's the headline. Um, some Cox Communications customers who use a heavy amount of data each month to stream video and music could soon see their bills climb beginning on July 6th, which is next week. Cox will give most customers in South Louisiana a data plan that allows them to upload or download one terabyte of data each month. Now, WWL, reporting on this story as as well yesterday, says Cox says the plan provides enough data to watch 140 two-hour high-definition movies, okay, 330-minute TV shows, 1,500 three-minute videos, and surf the web for 3,000 hours and listen to 30,000 songs that are four minutes long in one month. Okay, all those, you know, yeah, mutually exclusive. Right. right. Um, the company says, that's an enormous amount of data. But Brandon, do you realize that a lot of people are moving away from having TV? Mm-hmm. And so if you're a cord cutter and you decide that the bill that's almost $200 a month could be replaced with something like, I don't know, uh, DirecTV Now. Um, An Amazon Blue Fire Bus, Stick. Amazon Fire Stick. I mean, people are making that move. So it's like I see where these companies are, 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 are going because it's like when everyone started using data on their phones. Remember there was kind of a lag that happened with the cell phone companies yeah. um, for how they could take the massive amounts of data. And, you know, you would get to some areas where it would be super slow mm-hmm. and they'd have to come in and they put the – remember, remember, Brandon, when it was a big deal when you could get – 2G. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. I remember the 2G. That fast, those fast text uh-huh. message pictures. Yeah. And then we outgrew that. Mm-hmm. And so then we got to 4G. Yep. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, now we're at 4G LTE, and that's supposed to be the fastest. But you know, Brandon, it's just like it's it's like a shirt you wash too many times. Yes. You're eventually going to have to move on and upgrade. Yeah. Now, the, the thing, here's how I see this, okay? Mm-hmm. As someone who's followed what media companies do, and, and especially telecommunications companies, how they work, is they're always in a race against time, okay? Because you, if you're Cox, mm-hmm. not only do you have internet, which is huge, and everyone wants internet, and guess what? More people than ever need internet. Yes. You have different devices in your house that need the Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. That's why it comes at a premium. And, you know, they, they kind of have to find the way. Now, there's a lot of misperceptions out there about this, however, because, you know, you're seeing some people who said, oh, I've been getting that bill for a couple months now. Well, sir... It's not this then, you know, like maybe, no, yeah. you know, and a lot of times this is going to affect, um, you know, businesses have long had sort of parameters on this because it was like how many computers you had on the network. The big change is that, you know, what about those home based businesses that have a residential line? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't be doing that anyway, <laughs> but what if you were? Yeah, you know, um, and they're going to give you two months. Uh, uh, they're going to give you two months before they start enacting that. I got the letter yesterday, as a matter of fact, that said, hey, you know, we're going to give you a two month adjustment period where yeah. overage charges won't be put in. But really, as they estimated and by all the numbers you just read in which you can see all those numbers at kpl 965com it's only going to affect about 2% so of customers. You don't use that much? No. no. <laughs> I mean, I don't have time to use all you that. Don't, you don't have time to watch 300 uh, standard definition TV shows? No. You know, no. I, I remember we had this conversation, uh, and we're going to get to, we see your phone calls. We'll get to them in one second if you want to get that, uh, that caller on hold. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad and I had this conversation. It's like, I want to say probably eight years ago, eight mm-hmm. or nine years ago when we kind of saw what was happening with like with Netflix and where that was going. And, and I remember specifically where we were. And I said, dad, one day you're only going to need one line into your house. Uh You know, I mean, think about it, Brandon, we used to have a telephone line going into the house. You used to have sometimes a separate fax line, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, a cable line. I mean, you had all these going into the house when it could just be solved with one cord now. And that's internet. And I remember at the time he, laughed it off and said no way it's you know 
I see kind of what you're saying, but I don't think it will happen that fast. And and truthfully, it's happened faster than even I expected. Yeah. Um, we have uh, some family. They were they were building a house a f- few years back and decided that instead of putting cable, you know, the actual like coax mm-hmm. plugs in their bedrooms, all of their rooms had Ethernet right cords. Okay. And at the time, it was like, is this the Jetsons? You know, yeah. what, are, what uh-huh. are we doing? Who is your robot going to fly around and bring you breakfast? You yeah. know. Um. No, I'm kind of exaggerating on that, obviously. But, you know, um, I I even thought, oh, it's going to be a long time before you'll actually use those. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now we're at a place where where that's the deal. Yeah. But, you know, they kind of have to adapt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These cable companies. Well, my only concern is that the threshold that we're talking about, the one terabyte, gets lowered over time. Like that this is just an introductory type of thing to where they want to eventually lower that yeah. threshold and it could be easier to get to the point where you've got overage. You know, I'll say for internet on our phone plan, mm-hmm. the cool thing is as opposed to them charging us, um, if we go over our plan, you know, as opposed to them charging us an extra $10 or something, they'll just slow our internet down. I'd rather them do that than charge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but unless you're trying to get something done. Well, and that's you know, true, and that's but... the and that's the big thing. You know, and a lot of people use their cell phones for, mm-hmm. you know, specific things and um you know, I'll tell you, you know, work for me. Mm-hmm. There's times that I'm uploading videos. Yeah. Sometimes it takes 5 minutes, sometimes it takes 45. Right. You know, I mean, if that's what we're talking about, mm-hmm. you know, and and a lot of people because of the interconnectivity that we have, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I think I think you know, it's really easy to find people who bring work home every day and yeah, use their own mm-hmm. systems. You know, like gone are the company car days. You mm-hmm. know, use this car to do to do the business, you know, and, and use this laptop. You know, now that we all have such good technology, mm-hmm. and guess what? We can update our personal technology so much easier than, you know, a corporate, you know, entity can really let people out, you know, and 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 continue to update an entire you know, 100 laptops at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's just uh, got to be something we're seeing. Anyway, you can get the story kpel965.com read all the comments by the way you know the real, real story always ends up in the comments yeah and the real you know as much as we bellyache about what happens on social media and people oversharing etc et you know when something happens like this and you are a company we've talked about this with jackie russo mm-hmm. you know our, our branding guru who comes in on monday mornings um you know you want swift feedback mm-hmm. you get let a story like this come out news organizations like ours, you know, post it, mm-hmm. and you start to see how people are reacting about it. And you know what? I think one of the things that brings us all together, nobody wants to pay more for anything. No. You know what I'm saying? Remember when gas prices were as high as they were? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Bring the get, you know, whatever. Well, now mm-hmm. in this area, now that they're under, you know, I was driving somewhere uh, yesterday, $1.89 I saw, yep. mm-hmm. and it's like, guess what? Now it's like, we'll pay a little bit more, you know, get our people back to work. But yeah. um, anyway, like I said, follow that story at KPEL 965.